Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala asyrafil anbiya wal mursalin. Alhamdulillah yesterday we have explained to you the basic idea of the six P's of being an achiever. Eh? Remember we recap the first P is P purpose and meaning in life. And in Islamic motivation, post Islamic motivation, we have to find and seek our purpose as a Khalifa of Allah on earth. Khalifa to love out. Okay? The second P is presence. Is our life filled with presence, with awareness? The third P is we must have a mindset that is based on positive psychology. So this book, Positive Islamic Psychology, A Transcendent Model to Achieve Peace, Happiness and Success in the 21st Century is the basis of this program that we are trying to do da'wah to the world, inshallah. Alright? The next one is physical energy and wellness. There is not possible for us to live in this world if we do not have the energy to do work, to be a, an achiever, to, uh, to have uh, the energy and the, well, uh, the wellness and have good health for us to achieve something that we want to do. The next P is we must have a life that is productive. So we have, must have a way of life, a goal, a methodology, which we will, I will teach you in terms of how to increase our productivity in achieving any goal that we want in life. The next one is we are not alone in this world. We are working as a team. We are working in communities. So we must have the power of persuasion. How we can help each other, how we can persuade our co-workers, our co-company uh, workers, as well as our in our life, social work, social enterprise, we must persuade them to, to be able to achieve the goals that we are trying to achieve together. So if we have all these six Ps, then we have total success as achievers. So. What I want to discuss with you is first, before we even describe all these things, what do you mean by total success as achievers? So different society, they have different worldview. If you look at the master motivators in the circular materialistic world, what is success for them? They will put a big picture of a sports car, fancy sports car, a big bungalow, a private jet, and they say that is success. All right? But is that success? Is that achievement? You can have, and we have, some of the most successful people who are billionaires, yet they are unhappy. They have no peace. They have no happiness. Are they achievers? They have a horrible family life. Their children becoming drug addicts. Some of them committing suicide. They themselves committing suicide at one point in their life. Is that achievement? So, what is important is for us to reframe what is important in our life. And in positive Islamic psychology, we help you to reframe the meaning and the purpose of life based on a holistic perspective. That perspective is what we call at your self level, at your community, that is the, your family and others level, and at the world level. But these three levels is linked back to the idea of the four hierarchy in Islamic positive psychology. That is the hierarchy of S, E, and P. That means the base of our existence is spiritual. From spiritual to emotional to mental to physical. So if we study psychology, you'll know that in uh, Maslow hierarchy of needs, they talk about the physical needs first. Uh, food, shelter, clothing, then your social needs, and then your community needs at the highest level, that is your self-actualization. But from the Islamic perspective, post-Islamic psychology looks at four levels. The base of our existence is spiritual, E-S. Then it is the emotional aspect, the cult or the heart aspect. Then we have the mind or akal, the M aspect, mental aspect, then the P, the physical aspect. So what is important for us is to then reframe our meaning of being successful in life. 
being an achiever in life. So if you want to be highly uh, successful and high, a high achiever in life, we must then look at what we can do at these four levels. So inshallah, over the series of talks that I'm giving, we would then be able to first shift our thinking of just secular materialism, just money, 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 car, fast, car, fast, this, fast, that, or the whole idea of wine, woman, and song, uh, the whole idea of just leisure life, uh, uh, things like that. That is not being an achiever. That is not being successful. It is just an illusion. Superficial life that does not bring any depth or meaning or purpose in life. So I hope I can help you, inshallah, to reframe your thoughts. So immediately after this talk, just reflect for a minute. Sit down in a quiet place, think, what is my purpose and what is my meaning in life? Just reflect for a minute. Am I happy? Am I at peace with myself and with my Lord? Am I achieving anything in life? Or am I living life just like a zombie? Fluttering in life with no meaning, no purpose, from one drama to another drama, from one occasion to another occasion, but achieving nothing. So it is important that before we even talk about all the six Ps, let us reflect and let us think and let us frame our own SEMP. That means our spiritual, emotional, mental and physical well-being and move on to understanding what we need to do in life and how we can be achievers. Then inshallah, over a period of time, you will achieve gradually the full meaning and purpose in life. And to do that, I hope you can join us through our program, the Positive Islamic Psychology Program. We have the Positive Islamic Psychology Certified Practitioner course. It's not an expensive course. All you need to do is buy the book, and then later on we'll give you the detail of how you can learn to become a positive Islamic psychology practitioner for yourself, for your family, and also if you want to become uh, a practitioner and a consultant to help others uh, in doing da'wah and as well as to set up centers to help especially the Muslim youth in this world where we are facing lots and lots of problems. So there are two more to this program, this positive Islamic psychology practitioner program. We have four levels, level one, two, three, and four. So we have two modes. The first mode is you come for level one, face to face, two days, intensive retreat with us. Then level two is all online. Level three is all online, where you do your assignments and your quiz. And also, we do also our video uh, session together, as well as quiz and presentation. Then at level four, you come back and do another two more days of intensive retreat. And when you complete all this, level one, certificate of attendance, level two, certificate of attendance, level three, certificate of attendance, level four, you then you become a qualified practitioner of positive Islamic psychology. And then you can go out to the world and help the ummah in doing da'wah and also transforming the ummah to achieve, to become a true and sincere servant of Allah and become a true Khalifa of Allah on this path. Achieving the best, becoming an achiever, all right? By what? An achievers in the self, striving to make yourself good, helping others to be good, making the world good, and pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all goodly creatures on this earth. So join us and come to our program. Inshallah, you will benefit for, for you to be able to understand your meaning and purpose in life and in my next session, we'll describe in detail what we need to do at these four uh, of the six Ps for us to become an achiever. See you, inshallah, in the next session. Wabilah taufiq wa hidayah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.